Hi and welcome to another video by Get It Done Home Repairs. Today we're going to talk about installing additional lighting in the attic. Uh, in this particular attic here, there's, there's one light up there but it does not illuminate the entire attic area. So what we're going to do is we're going to connect into the existing uh, light fixture and we're going to run an additional wire over, put a box up onto it and install the second light up there so we have plenty of light up in the attic space. And then we're going to go up in the attic which is a little bit dark, so we'll see how it goes up there with the lighting. Um, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you how to do it step by step. Okay, so now we're up in the attic up here. It does look pretty bright because I actually brought a light from, uh, from in my house over onto the side here so we can illuminate the area that we're gonna be working on. But what we're gonna basically be doing is we're gonna, we're gonna connect into this electrical box over here and we're gonna run the wiring up and over to this area right over here so we can install our second set of lights. Let me show you what it looks like and I'll explain what I'm gonna do and then we're gonna get it done. All right. This is the existing, this is the existing box right here. So we're gonna take that, we're gonna connect into that box right there it's actually a plastic box, as you can, oh no, I'm sorry, it's a metal box. So we're gonna connect into the metal box here, and we're gonna run the wiring along down the rafters over here, and we're gonna actually install it on the side. So let me show you what we're gonna do. All right, first thing we're gonna do, and I know it's a little bit difficult to see up here, first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna come in here, and we're gonna mount this box up over here. So what we're going to do first is we'll put this box up here. Now that we have that box connected up over here, we're going to take our wiring. We're going to take our wiring and bring it in right through the top of the box right up over here. And then we're going to run these wires over to the other one. So uh, let's do that. Hope we can see there. Not so good. Huh? First thing we're going to do now is we're just going to take off some of the insulation. And the way you do that is just come around in here with a utility knife. Just like this. Cut it and you can just pull it and it comes right off. Okay, so for now, that's what we need here. Let's put it up into the box. We're gonna bring it down through the, uh, the bottom right up in here. The way we do that is we, we're gonna come in through this side right over here, so we're gonna take out this one piece here, like that, and just work it back and forth and it snaps right out, like that, and then that's trash. We are going to take these wires now and bring them up through here. What I always do is I always take the wires, wrap them around like this, Through, through the box here, like that. Like this. I'm going to bring you up there in a second, but let me tighten this up and I'll show you what I did. Okay, this is what I did. I took the wires and I wrapped the wires around the insulation, the ground wire right there. Brought the ground wire up here. These we're going to keep on the side. And this, we're going to loop right around this ground wire right here. We're going to take this, bring it around. Tough to do one-handed, but... It's going to go around the wire, around the nut, I mean the screw, just like that, and then we'll tighten that screw up. 
edit that. We come around. Just like that. And like that. Okay. And now we tighten that screw up and that'll actually hold the wire so we have a good ground on the box. We have a grounder here and we also have it grounded right there. So we're going to tighten that screw up and then we're going to continue. So let me grab a screwdriver. Now you notice when the screw is turning into tighten, the wire is actually pulling tighter inside of it, just the way that it was looped around it. So that way when you tighten the screw, the wire actually pulls in there tighter. All right, so now our ground is done. We tightened up this screw over here, and now we're going to run this cable back behind the rafters, and we'll tighten it in there. Okay, now that we have our wire strung out the way we want to do it, we're going to take our staples like this, and we're going to staple the wire to hold up against the beam, like this. Show you what I'm doing here, and then we're going to continue. All right, we put our staple in right over here, and we nailed it in so it actually holds the wire. We don't want to cut into the wire, it's just holding it. And now we're going to do the same thing all the way along here, all the way down to that side over there. So let me staple this in here, and then we'll come back and I'll, uh, I'll continue. Okay, so now that we have the light bulb taken out, we know that the power is off in here because we turned off the circuit breaker down in the, in the circuit breaker box. Now we're going to unscrew the cover right here and take it out so we can see inside. All right, now, I don't know if you can see this okay, but we have, this is our ground. You can see where it's grounding around up over here. That's our ground. This is our power lead. And this is our return. So what we're going to do now is we're going to take these wires, we're going to strip them down, and we're going to bring it through right up on the top right there. So uh, all right, let me do that. Remember, you just cut very little. You don't want to cut deep. You don't want to damage the wires underneath here. And then you pull it. And it comes out. And then we'll strip the wires back right here. Okay. We're going to strip these wires back right here, just a little bit. And you can use your wire strippers to do that, of course. Okay, so that's our wires are stripped back now. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to put that through the top right up here. We're going to take our screwdriver, put it up in the top here, in that little slot, and we're going to break off the piece. Like that. We just put the screwdriver through it and snap it right off. All right. Next thing we're going to do now is we're going to loosen up. I hope you can see up there okay. We're going to loosen up right up here. Okay. And now we're going to take our wires like we did down, down on the other end over there. And now we're going to take this and bring it through right up here.
panel after we have it through. We can snug down our holder onto the wire itself. Okay, now we can see our wire is held in there really tight now. But well, we are going to connect that ground wire with the other ones right here. So that's what we're going to do right now. Okay, so now our ground wire is connected. We're just going to push it back out of the way. Take our hot wire and connect it in here. Connect it in here like that as well. Just around in here. connect our black wire over here and we're going to take our wire nut and screw it back on okay all right so that's nice and tight let's put this cover back on and then we're going to go down over here and we'll continue connecting it up over there now remember the power is off in this box just so you remember okay Okay, so now we have our wiring right here. We're going to take our socket that we have here, and as you can see, maybe you can't see, I don't know, that's the, uh, the red wire is actually the ground wire. We're going to connect this ground wire to that little wire right up there that we actually have sticking out like a little pigtail, and then we're going to reconnect this one and this one. The shiny gold color one right there, that's the one that gets the black wire because the black wire is the power, and then the white wire is the, uh, uh, the, the neutral or the return. All right, so first thing we're going to do now is we're going to take this, we're going to connect our wire right up here, and we're going to put our wing nut on to hold it in place. We're going to connect our black wire. That's what I always do. Make a slight loop in the end of the wire like this. Same thing on here like this. And then we're going to connect our wires accordingly. Now we have our two wires connected here, our ground wire here, our neutral, and this is our, our power coming in. And now we'll take our box, we're going to push the wiring back in place. Okay, let's go get a light bulb and uh, we'll turn the power supply on and we'll come right back. Okay, now we take our light bulb, screw our light bulb in, and there we go.
All right, let me explain to you one more time what I did here. You can see that's our light that if we want it, we can use it. If not, we can just turn it out. That's our other primary light over there. But you can see it makes a big difference up here in the attic. See how dark it was up here? That was the only light we had. That's what it looked like. And now you can see it's a significant different difference. All right, so what we did is we actually brought our wire. We, we screwed our box to the wall right here with any kind of screw. In this particular case, I used the drywall screw right here. Drywall screw. We ran our wire through here. We put our our uh, staple right here. It has to be within, I think, six inches of the box, but you'll have to check your local uh, codes to be sure. All right, we connected our ground, we connected our power and our return, and then we stapled the wire all the way along the beams to here. And then we brought it up into the back, right over here. We have it stapled right here, within six inches of the box itself. The wiring coming down into here, and we basically just connected into the power and the ground, uh, or I should say, we basically connected into the to the power and the return, and we also connected up our our ground wire as well. All right, so uh, that's pretty much it. Okay, so as you can see, installing the, uh, the, the light in the attic or crawl space or basement is really not that difficult. Just make sure before you start anything, make sure your power is turned off at the circuit breaker, not just the light switch. Make sure the circuit breaker itself is turned off before you touch something that you're going to get a shock. Um, the next thing is when you put the wire in and you run the, run the wire from one receptacle over to the other, make sure you connect your ground and also make sure that you connect up the, uh, those staples that you saw me put on the, on the wire to hold the wire to the beam so it's not just laying up in the attic someplace. Uh, check your local building codes to make sure how close to the box itself you have to put a, a staple. I put mine within six inches. I think realistically it was probably within four inches but uh, I put mine there just so that there's no movement in the box whatsoever. All right, make sure your ground is connected, make sure you have wire nuts on, and then turn it on and you're good to go. All right, as always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.